Jasper mentioned it. The 38 members of the media were polled uh, as to where they think each team is going to finish. There were 35 first place votes for Oregon, three for Cal, and zero for UW. So that, that off the bat says that maybe more people were talking are talking about Cal as a potential contender than than we think. I mean, one of the Cal beat reporters published his uh, his picks, and Cal was number two. So these might be non-Cal people and probably are non-Cal people who think that this team has potential. And, you know, I would agree that Cal is probably going to finish second in the Pac-12 North, even though Washington has the easier schedule. UW plays Arizona week three, and they finish last in the Pac-12 South preseason poll. That's a way easier crossover game than, than Cal has, but they – they have a lot of turnover UW and I just I see Cal as a more complete team on both sides they have more continuity more experience and I think more potential but Cal did get screwed with the crossover games I mean we play ASU whereas Oregon plays UCLA UW plays Arizona and Stanford plays Colorado so the Pac-12 did not give the Bears a break by any means but I think Cal is at the point in Justin Wilcox's development of this program where they, they can take on a team like ASU and, you know, we don't necessarily need a cakewalk of a schedule, but I think just as a whole, the Pac-12 made a major mistake here if they want Oregon or USC to make the college football playoff, because I think they should have given them the hardest teams on the other conference besides each other. So something like Oregon versus ASU or Utah, and then USC versus Cal or UW because what they did right now doesn't really lend itself to either team having that great of a strength of schedule to make the college football playoff. 